Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll show you how to change the brush drive gear assembly in a GTEC AirRam cordless vacuum cleaner. These vacuum cleaners have become very popular, but they can suffer from wear in the gear assembly, causing the noise levels to rise and eventually meaning that the brush roller at the front of your GTEC will not spin. Safety first, always disconnect the battery from a GTEC before carrying out any work. With the battery safely removed, I now need to remove the filters and the dust bin assembly and put that to one side because I need to turn the GTEC upside down so I can then remove the roller end caps and the rollers to access the sole plate. Easy enough to do, just remove the two screws that hold the end caps in place. It's worth pointing out that the rear screw for the end caps is longer than the front screw. So remember that when reassembling your GTEC. The roller end caps are easy enough to remove. Slide them up a little bit before popping them out. Make sure you retain the brass bearing inside. The rollers are easy to remove as well. Simply pull those off the central shaft. The next thing I need to remove is this front assembly. To do that, I need to undo one screw there, one there, and one there using a Torx head screwdriver. With the two front pieces removed, the next thing I need to do is to remove these four screws which help to hold the motor assembly in place. Again, using a Torx head screwdriver. With the four screws removed from underneath, flip the GTEC over as there is still two screws here and two screws at the front holding the motor assembly in place. So unscrew those next. So with all the screws removed, ease off the motor assembly, front first, just flexing the front to get it away, and then you should be able to lift the motor assembly up and out. To access the gear assembly, I'm now going to undo this screw at the top to take the casing off. Next, you can just pop off the ducting, put your fingers either side of the inlets, and that will simply pop off. The next thing I need to do is to remove the motor cowl, which should hinge back. If you separate the two halves of plastic at the back and lift off at the same time, it should just hinge out of place. To access the gear assembly, which is here, I need to undo five screws which hold it into place. Again, Torx head screws. With half of the gear assembly cover taken off, here we can see the assembly inside. I'm just going to lift up the metal shaft to take out the nylon and metal gear assembly. You can grab your new one and pop it into place. With the gear assembly all in position, 
you can reassemble the cover, making sure it's all in place properly. You can then screw it back together. Next, replace the motor cowl, hinging it into position. So make sure it's in position at the bottom before easing it over the rest. To get your ducting back into place, just ease the motor cowl back a little bit to make sure that it fits into position. And then push the motor cowl back in place and then replace the screw. To replace the brush head and sole plate assembly, just drop it into position first and then put the top cover over and then you can screw it into place. With the cover in place, you can now replace the brush rolls. Make sure that the two flat sides of the fitting match up to the two flat sides on your drive shaft. So there we have it, one new brush drive gear assembly fitted to this GTEC AirRam cordless vacuum cleaner. Spares for GTEC AirRam and all other makes of vacuum cleaner can be found on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.